Hey YouTube, Patrick here. So, a uh, super random video today. So, I actually had a really bad crash on my machine just recently, and I'd like to show you how I fixed it. But, uh, quick profess, the AMD RAID is like an onboard RAID controller that's included in some of the AMD motherboards, and it basically lets you RAID multiple drives and lets you boot from it. The main problem with the AMD RAID controller is that the drivers for it are not included in the default Windows installer media. So technically, if you want to install Windows on a RAID array, you need to actually start up the installer, then you kind of siloed the RAID drivers, and that's the way you get the installer to actually recognize the RAID array, and then you can install Windows on it. And the problem is that this also goes for the rescue media, which will be the kind of the focus for today. So on my personal rig, where I had the crash on, I have uh, three one terabyte NVMe SSD drives in RAID 0. And yes, I know, I know RAID 0 is not the best way to keep data safe, but rest assured, all my valuable data is actually stored on other machines. So anyway, the crash was caused by like a, it was, I think it was a graphics driver update and it was very out of the blue and I had to do like a cold reset to get the machine up and running again. But after that and the, after the machine booted up, I was greeted by a blue screen, which informed me that the boot partition had been corrupted for whatever reason. Okay. So basically I fired up my other machine where I created a Windows installation media tool. And with that, I started up my machine again. I went to the actual rescue utility where the troubleshooting tools are available. And the problem that I alluded to earlier is that, uh, yeah, the rescue utility, it also does not have the AMD RAID drivers available. So basically, yeah, you have the tools to fix your drive and fix startup stuff and fix your boot partition, but it, it cannot recognize your drive, so you're kind of SOL. Uh, luckily, I found a solution after some hours of Googling, and I'd like to share them with you. So let's take a look. All right, so here we are at the AMD website. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to drivers and... I'll click away that and we'll select the chipset and just select your corresponding chipset. Submit. And here we have the AMD RAID driver. We don't want the installer, we want the driver because this uh, contains the INF files. So we'll click download, open. And here we have the actual uh, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure what the difference is between the CC and did. I did not find any data about that, but I used the CC and that seemed to work fine. So we're just going to use that. And here I have my drive. It's a USB stick here. So we'll just copy these to here. There we go. And now we're ready to put the stick on the, on the machine itself where the crash happened. So obviously I cannot show you the footage from the troubleshooting menu since I already fixed my machine, but I'm going to show you the whole command line thing, which is kind of the main point there. You should be able to get yourself into the troubleshooting menu since your main boot drive isn't booting and you have the Windows install media connected to your machine. So you should automatically end up there once you start up your machine. So from the troubleshooting menu, you should be able to find the uh, command line prompt button. So I'll click on that and you should get the command line up and running. Uh, one, one difference here is that you should be probably be on the X drive, which is kind of the temporary drive of the installation and also the rescue media. Uh, so from here, we need to just navigate to the stick where we have the drivers on. So you hope you have that connected as well. So let's just uh, try try the drives in alphabetic order. So, no, it wasn't D, maybe E. Okay, there we find it. So actually I'm just gonna go to the root first. So yeah, here we have the three directories, RC bottom, RC CFG, RC RAID. And pay attention here. So 
this is going to be really important so you install these in the correct order so uh, this is also listed on the pdf with the zip file that you, we downloaded earlier uh, so the rc bottom is going to be the first one that we install and after that we're going to install the rc raid driver and after that the rc cfg so the way we do it on the command line is like this so we're going to go to the rc bottom drive and we'll list the files here uh, so we have the rc bottom inf so it's the inf files that we are actually interested in and yeah so this is how you install uh driver files from the command line so we use this handy tool called pnp util and with that we're going to give it the flag i then the flag a and after that we'll just give it the rc bottom dot enf yeah so this is the this is the command that will allow you to install the driver here and once you've done that, I'm not going to do it here since it's my work operating machine. We're going to go back and then we're going to head on to the the raid folder. There we go. And well, as you see here, there's the corresponding in a file RC raid inf. And with that, we are also going to do the same thing. So RC raid dot i n f like this so you're going to do that and then you're going to go back and do the rc cfg and do the same thing and once you get all those installed in that exact order you can just uh, exit from the from the command line and then you should be able to run the startup repair and it should show you your local windows installation and you just click that and let it run and let it do its thing and you should have a working machine so yeah uh, that about covers it i hope this helps someone someone with the same situation with the amd raid and uh, i don't know final thoughts don't do amd raid it's not worth it. It's more pain than it's worth. Because uh, maybe maybe if Windows gets the drivers bundle, then it'll be a, like a easier easier thing to do. But uh, you're not gonna do like 10 gigabit sequential writes on your computer. Trust me. And it doesn't affect the, the responsiveness of the desktop at all in any way. So <laughs> it's just for bragging rights basically. But yeah. I hope this helps. I hope you get your system fixed. And yeah, that's it for today. Thanks. Bye.